The benefit of the Active Directory repository is that all the objects and their attributes can be changed by any domain controller within the domain network. This type of database repository is called a multi-master enabled database. When conflicting changes are made to the same object, Active Directory uses a last writer wins algorithm to resolve the conflict. To accommodate this, Windows uses a single master model called the Flexible Single Master Operation, or FISMO. This means there are roles that only one domain controller in the domain, or forest, handles. Let's look at these five roles. Two FISMO roles are at the forest level, the schema master and the domain naming master. At the domain level, there are three FISMO roles, the RID master, the PDC emulator, and the infrastructure master. Let's examine each of these a little closer. The schema master domain controller has the only read-write copy of the schema in the forest. The schema is the template for Active Directory, so any changes made to the template affect all existing and future Active Directory objects. For example, fields added to user accounts cannot be removed. Because of this far-reaching impact and the difficulty in correcting mistakes, it is best to have only one schema in the forest. Only schema admins can access it. Next, we have the Domain Naming Master Domain Controller. Its role is to name each domain in the forest with a unique name. No two domains can have the same name. Unique names are so critical to the network working properly that it can be done only by the Domain Naming Master Domain Controller. This domain naming master is also the only DC that can add or remove domains from the Active Directory. When you create or remove a domain, this DC must be available or the action will fail. A RID is a unique number used to create new objects and their corresponding security identity, or SID. The relative identifier master, or RID master, allocates RIDs to domain controllers in blocks of 500. When a domain controller has used half of the pool of RIDs, it contacts the RID master to request more. The RID master must also be available when promoting a domain controller. When it isn't available, the prerequisite verification fails and the promotion is denied. Additionally, the RID master is responsible for moving objects from one domain to another to ensure that the RID within the object security ID is not a duplicate to any RIDs in the new domain. The second FISMO role, at the domain level, is the Primary Domain Controller, or PDC Emulator. The PDC Emulator's key role is to synchronize time in the enterprise. Because the enterprise uses Kerberos for authentication, all computers within the network must use a common time. The PDC Emulator is the authoritative source. The PDC emulator eliminates loops and is the source that all computers sync with in a domain. It gets its time from an outside source. The PDC emulator role is also preferred for security updates. It is the first domain controller to get password resets, authentication failures, and account lockouts. The final FISMO role is the infrastructure master. Before we can understand the role of the infrastructure master, it's important to understand what a global catalog server is. A global catalog server has a partial copy of every object in the forest and is used to conduct forest-wide searches. For example, when we search for a username of Mike, our domain controller will first search for the username within the domain. When the domain doesn't contain that username, the domain controller consults the global catalog server to locate the Mike username in another domain. Also, Global Catalog retrieves Universal Group membership from Active Directory during logon. Universal Groups can exist anywhere in the forest. This means when a user logs on, all the Universal Groups to which the user belongs are retrieved from Active Directory. The Global Catalog is used because only Global Catalog servers have an index of everything in the forest. The role of the infrastructure master is to update the global catalog with changes in its subject's SID or its distinguished name for cross-domain object referencing. For this reason, this role should be held by a domain controller that's not a global catalog server. When the infrastructure master is on a DC that is a global catalog server, an update to an object could result in an error. 
For example, let's say the username Mike is changed to Chris. Since the global catalog is on the same DC as the infrastructure master, the infrastructure master will not update the cross-domain object reference of the username to Chris. This happens because the infrastructure master doesn't recognize that the global catalog needs updating. A warning appears on the DC's event log. The exception to this rule is when all the DCs in a domain hold a global catalog. In this situation, any of the DCs can hold the infrastructure master role. In this lesson, we talked about the five flexible single master operation or FISMO roles. These are the five roles that are so crucial that only one domain controller in either the forest level or the domain level can perform this function. We first talked about the schema master and the domain naming master, which are both at the forest level. Then we talked about the RID master, the PDC emulator, and the infrastructure master, which are all at the domain level. We also touched on how global catalog servers work and how the infrastructure master works with the global catalog.